Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this blog on getting permanent residence or PR in Germany. So here I will share experience of Asis Mishra who uh, came to Germany uh, three years back. So he came to Germany to do masters from India after finishing his bachelor's and he has a very really inspiring story because he uh, to my knowledge, I've never heard anyone in Germany who has got permanent residence in only three years, which obviously is not possible in Netherlands. Uh, you need to have minimum five years if you have seen my previous videos. So in this video, we are going to talk about his experience, like how he transitioned from his master's to the company job, blue card, PR and everything all about his story. So maybe we can start with you, Ashish, like... Maybe you can briefly highlight how you got the PR in three years. Like, what was the starting <laughs> process? Uh, well, Sambit, uh, so I didn't do anything fancy, you know. So, all you need to do is just to be absolutely informed about the rules and regulations. And last but not the least, you have to work hard to actually achieve uh, the PR in, in proper timelines. So, if I would like to start from the start, I... So did my master's in Ravensburg, Weingart and University of Applied Sciences, and it was a three semester course. I was able to successfully uh, get through with my master's in the three semesters, which is also something that is not very usual. That happened because I was able to crack my master thesis or internship at Intel in Munich uh, right in my second semester, which is why I was able to start my master thesis right with the onset of uh, the third semester which eventually led to finishing my master's in one and a half years. Luckily, I also was able to start with my job right after I finished my master's. So I finished my master's in the next month, I was starting with my job. And uh, after paying taxes for 21 months in my first job, uh, with a certain level of German language, German proficiency, I was able to apply for a PR, which is exactly in alignment with the rule. And uh, so yeah, God's been kind, I got the PR. Thank you. Yeah, so going into the like little bit details into your yeah. uh, process of obtaining the PR. So I heard that you also got like certain bracket of salary, certain range of salary because of which yeah. you are able to get blue card. And that kind of helped you to get the PR mm -hmm. in three years was it the case or it was only the tax paying for 21 months uh yes actually the salary uh, bracket has got nothing to do with the pr as such it has got to do with your blue card so to qualify for a blue card you need to have a certain uh, salary bracket and also you need to uh, have a contract in particular employment opportunities, for example, the employment opportunities which are really in scarcity in Germany, for example, IT technicians or engineering or uh, medical professions. If you get a job, let's say in McDonald's and go and apply for a blue card, obviously goes without saying you won't get it because it's not something that is in scarcity. They, they have abundance of people to fill those jobs. Only in jobs where there, there is a scarcity of, of, of people or candidates, uh, only there, if you get a job and uh, you have a certain level of salary, which is, I think, 40 to 41,000 euros, depending on which city you get the job in, um, you can apply for a blue card then. Yes. So, so yes. So, I got my first job with Test Electronic Solutions as an embedded software engineer working for consumer electronics, developing embedded software for man-machine interfaces for coffee machine, baking ovens, uh, washing machines, etc for a big consumer electronics company called Miele, uh, if your audience might be knowing about it. And Miele is uh, one of the most uh, so reputed organizations in the industry. So I got a job uh, with Taste Electronic Solutions and my salary bracket then was qualifying for a blue card. And uh, yeah, I got the blue card and after paying taxes for 21 months, meaning after uh, working for 21 months in my first job, with a certain German level. So I had already, so B1 level of German, uh, I was able to apply for a PR. Yeah. 
So basically the rule says if you have a job and you pay and if you have B1 level of German and if you pay 21 months of taxes, then you can apply for a PR. And if you don't have B1 level of German, then you have to pay taxes for 33 months. It is only then um, that you are eligible to apply for a PR. But in my case, uh, so basically I didn't have the B1 level of German, but the, so I was still able to apply for a PR because they conducted a small interview in German and they wanted to check the proficiency. And um, yeah, depending on the results of that interview, they would decide on my application of the PR. And I suppose the interview was through, which is why I got the PR. But it depends on the city to city. Some cities normally don't um, so recognize these interviews. They normally look for the certificates and some cities do. In Frankfurt, they do, which is why yeah, it was easy. Okay, so oh, yes. to make it clear, uh, the PR is no way related to blue card. Like, if even if you don't have a blue card, it doesn't mean that you cannot get a PR in three years, right? No, like after doing the master's, obviously you need to have the blue card to apply for a PR, and you need to have the blue card for a certain amount of time to be eligible to apply for a PR. So definitely, you need a blue card. And there are other ways also to apply for a PR, but that would be a long way through. It will definitely won't get the PR in three years. But uh, so in my case, uh, so you get the blue card first, which is uh, which is which is what most of the master students, master graduating students do. They apply for a blue card, and after working for a certain amount of time in blue card, they are eligible for a PR with some additional requirements like German and. Uh, so continuous employment, taxes, umbeflüssigkeit vertrag, which is the permanent contract, and yeah, there are some other aspects to it as well. Okay, uh, okay, so there you go. Like you have the shortest way to get a permanent residence in Germany, right? Coming from Ashish, based on his experience, uh, what are the basic uh, conditions for it to be valid? Like, uh, do you need to have minimum? Uh, continuous uh, stay in certain for certain months like if you leave for six months or three months then you are not no longer even if you hold a PR you cannot so I want to ask that like are there yes. conditions like that like yeah. so if you are in a PR and if you leave the country for more than six months then you are stripped off of your PR status so that's one thing that you have to bear in mind. But that doesn't happen when you have the passport, when you have the citizenship, which is the next step of the PR. So if you get the citizenship, you can just go out of the country for as many years as you want, and you are still a citizen of the country, which is not the case in PR. And do you get any additional benefits, even if you are not a citizen, but you get a PR, then do you get any additional benefits in terms of any the, monetary benefits or any type of society benefit or anything? The most important benefit that I already talked about is security, the sense of security, that nobody can legally uh, so kick me out of the country in so whatever case it might be. Secondly, as far as salaries are concerned, uh, so there is no difference in the salaries that you draw or that you get from the companies depending on your residentship status, whether you are on blue card or PR. So salaries, they don't make any difference. And the most important uh, benefit of having a PR is uh, so you get home loans and car loans at very cheap prices, normally at the at the rates or the interest rates that normally Germans or the citizens get. So you get exactly the same rates and being a, so being an immigrant or being a foreign uh, citizen living in the country, you have to pay higher interest rates on loans. So thank you, Ashish, again for sharing your time on a weekend uh, out of your busy time. So I hope that each of you like this video. If you liked it, then don't forget to smash the like button, share this video, help each other out. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, then subscribe to the channel. Here I make videos about studying and living in Netherlands, Germany and other European countries. And till next video, we will still have Ashish with us, where we will talk about his experience of doing masters in Germany and working in Germany, what is the job process and culture and everything. So till next vlog, see you. Bye from Netherlands.